Hello and welcome back. So today's vlog is a bit different. It's different for me. It's my first ever bike packing trip and it happens to be Slovenia for eight days. So I am in beautiful Slovenia right now and I'm just gonna give a wee flavour of what's to come and then take you on the journey from, from start to finish. I'm doing it with my brother Gav and friend Conan who are currently eating their breakfast in this tower. So the loop we're doing starts from Ljubljana and it's about 420 kilometers and between 9 to 10,000 meters of elevation. We're heading up through Lake Bled, the National Park, the Alps, uh, then the Socha River with the electric blue water over through Italy and back in from the south. It looks an, it's such an epic route. I'm really excited to just share all the moments with you. Uh, the highs, the lows, the heat waves, the, the crazy rain, refuge and mountain huts. It's, it's really quite an adventure. So my weapon of choice is my Vitus Rapide full suspension, 100 mil travel front and back, uh, RockShox Sid forks, uh, Shimano XT drivetrain and brakes, and uh, tires are Michelin Wild XC. So I've got a bit of traction and also a bit of puncture proof while they still roll fast. Bike is fully kitted up, got a 20 litre handlebar bag, uh, I think a 12 litre, sad, 9 or 12 litre saddle pack and then all sorts of frame bags in between and uh, a couple of uh, water bottle pouches on the bars. It is a stacked bike and it weighs about 23 kilos so it's not your not your average uh, ride, it is heavy. I've managed to get a book, uh, two power banks and yeah some other non-essentials on there but it's looking good. So hope you enjoy the route, just go from the start right through, share all the, the highlights with you. So we have arrived in Ljubljana. Arrived last night pretty late and we're just uh, sorting out the bikes this morning on the street. Gav getting his steed ready. <laughs> Sweating away. It's 32 awesome. degrees. It's absolutely insane. Conan's picked a nice shady spot. Sensible. Quite mechanic yeah, issues yeah. already. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're all having a lot of time. I love the relaxing morning in Ljubljana. Apart from me. It's taking me two hours, to, probably more than two hours, to get this machine ready. But we're setting off now. Machine? It's still not ready, it's still got a front check. <laughs> I've got a flat in the front. Uh, I think I deflated my tyres for the flight and I'm pretty sure, uh, yeah, unseated the tribulus. So, yeah, it's off to a good start already. But we are, yeah, we're off on the route, let's go. Look at that, reward for the massive like seven, eight hundred meter climb. Two thousand meter mate. Two thousand, it feels like it. Six hundred. <laughs> right, we made it to dinner stop and we get six hundred meters to go. Got lost twice already. Good start. Yeah, it's been pretty good so far, but it's been really tough going in the heat. I think tomorrow's another hot day and then it gets a bit cooler. So we're gonna get some good Slovenian food, get up to camp and then wake up for bled tomorrow. Good morning. This has been the camp spot for the night, just packed up, ready to go to bled. It's already roasting as soon as the sun came up. Yesterday was really, really tough going. Ended up doing 1600 meters. Uh, over pretty much two climbs in that heat. It was it was a real struggle. I was getting a bit, bit concerned about the rest of the trip, but good to see not every day is going to be like that. So we're off to, to Bled now. All right, we've got an early section, so I've put on the head cam for the first time. 25 kilo bike, very unbalanced, <laughs> with weight everywhere, and the seat right up my arse. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy <laughs> oh. This is toured in our bike packing style. Wow. Look at that, iced coffee stop, pretty good. 
Guys on the ice creams. Off to Lake Blad is 16k now. Lake Blad, just as beautiful as I expected. Look at that water. So clear. Gonna go for a wee dip. Go on, you got it, you got it. Oh. <laughs> Quite a backflash. <laughs> You're laughing now, but I will not be cramping this evening. <laughs> it doesn't taste good though. There we go, Triglavski Narodny Park. Entering a national park after horrific amounts of more climbing. Water station filling up and then where are we off to next? Mostrava? Uh, yes. Mostrava for the night. <sighs> Decent climb. Oh, quarter past six in the evening. Been going since about eight today with a few chilled stops. Almost at a destination for tonight. Good morning from camp, day three today. So we've got an 800 meter climb today, amongst other climbs, up to a 1900 meter mountain pass with a World War II bunker at the top. Although we're supposed to get the proper heavy rain later. So we'll see what, what happens. I think we're due, how, how many mils are we due? 30 is the worst. 30 mil. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be, it could be, has a potential to be savage. We shall see what we get. So yeah, onwards with the day. First stop of the day. Short detour for this. On the way to Kranskagora. Hey! <laughs> Always a bit of time for the extra drama. It's looking like we may have to cross the river, which could be an issue. We're just off to investigate. Yeah. Yeah, it's more spread out. yeah maybe up there. Okay. Like right. yeah. Well, that was pretty epic. We stop on the way up. 700 meters still to go to get to the top of the mountain pass. 700 down, I think. 800 down, maybe. That's cool. bit bleak, the final stretch. Oh. So we got up to the top of the mountain pass, the bunker was not really appropriate to it shelter in. It was covered in, in cow shit. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a no go and instead of putting up a soggy tent after getting totally soaked, we found a mountain hut and it's pretty awesome. So we're warm, we're dry, we're showered for the first time in several days and we got some awesome food and beer and Uno is out for the rest of the night so it's all good. But we did get soaked. We did get absolutely soaked. We had a 1,900 meters, 900 meter mountain pass uh, all the way up there in the like torrential rain, thunder and lightning. So yeah, it's really good to be here. You just felt it, aren't you? You're supposed to say cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's warm. Yeah, that's what I had the cold one. 
Off we go! Another rainy day! This is us descending down and out of the Triglavsky National Park, probably within the next couple of hours. Oh, my bag is open. That's not good. Oh no! That's my book gone. Essentials, you know. Checking out the viewpoint. Look at that, those views. Road open seven months a year. Yeah, yeah it's so high. That's amazing, isn't it? It really is. It's wow. <laughs> We've reached the Saka or the Sacha, the river. Here we see Laura faffing. It's one of uh, her specialities. No, oh. oh. Oh my god, oh my god, it's getting a bit wobbly! <laughs> it feels nice. a bit sketchy, a bit wobbly. Just had lunch in Bovet and continued on and climbed up to see the most, one of the most amazing waterfalls in Slovenia. Check this out. Wow. Weather's starting to take its toll a bit. Tired. It's been peeing with rain for two straight days now. Soaked through. A wee bit cold. Yeah, the not so happy side of bike packing. Got an Airbnb tonight, which I'm really looking forward to, and just need to get through the next couple of hours of more heavy rain. Hey, short break in the weather. Just in time to see the river in the sun. Hilarious. <laughs> okay, on the way to Kobarid. It's been pretty chunky, so I've turned on the GoPro because it got pretty sketchy. It's more gravelly here back there. We had a lot of boulders in a few moments, almost off. Wow! Look at that. Arrived at the accommodation for the night. So good. Check this out. We have a sauna right in the middle of the room. So weird. <laughs> Get this on. Dry some kit. Nice apartment. This is as in Cobarid or Cobarid. We balcony. Looking forward to some rest tonight. Let's crank this up. Day five, here we go. The sauna was amazing for drying all the kit. Some of us had more success than others. Hair jars were out on the socks and we're off to get soaked again. But the weather's looking a bit better today and then we should have sun from tomorrow onwards. So we're going to just get the bikes ready in the wee room here and then we're going to check out a waterfall and then head on over through the Socha Valley in the river and then onto a ridge line for the night. Lovely. Right, next to the Italian border soon. Got some lovely switchbacks, just come up a 1,000 meter climb up to this ridge line. Italy on one side, Slovenia on the other. Perfect, thanks. <laughs> Dinner at the basketball court, taking shelter. We've got a smoky tomato paella on the menu and a carbonara here and a chicken tikka with rice. Tasty stuff. On the road again. So, 
we have the sea just here, the Adriatic coast, uh, the Soka River here, and it's it's phenomenal. It's too far away for the GoPro, but it's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, Italian coast just over here, and we're off to Italy for lunch. All right, more nar. <laughs> Oh my god! I think I'll just walk this bit. Whoa! Holy sh! I thought you were going for the side. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm riding a proper mountain bike trail here. I've got the saddle properly, oh my god, up my arse with 100 mil travel and really, really firm suspension because of all the kit. It is not easy. Oh, it's a good speed, it's a good speed. Oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. We're in Italia. We've been cruising about for a while. Off to get some ice cream, as we need to do. Had some lunch, stocked up in camp meals. It's been pretty good. Italian gelato, here we go. There were so many flavors in there. So good. <laughs> Passing through lots of farms, vineyards today. It's pretty nice. So, we had a lovely lunch today in Eidovschina. As an athlete, it's important to me to make sure I get the right nutrition. That's why I eat fried cheese. And we're now on an even lovelier 800 meter climb in one go, maybe 900 even. I'm not gonna lie, really feeling it now. We're almost at the end of day seven, coming in at 8,000 meters. It's way harder than I thought. I can burn it to my usual riding, but of course, the bike's double the weight, and a lot of it's actually been kind of tough going. Lots of single track as well as steep climbs in the road. Oh, one more day tomorrow. We're at Little Caves, which are not so little. So Gav and Conan uh, headed down and we'll pop in some shots. It's pretty epic. Made it to the lake. Gav simply did his camping mat and it's actually working. morning it's the final day today and i cannot believe it it's gone so fast so we've got about 20 25 kilometer cruise and back into ljubljana morning views are really quite stunning proper blue sky day finally my legs are absolutely juiced like they've never been like this before <laughs> they're just sore even overnight just lying there it was sore I feel okay, a bit tired, but yeah, the legs just aren't working anymore, so I'm totally ready for a rest day. I think we're going to end up in like 9,500 metres, at least me, 9,500 metres of elevation and about maybe 460 kilometres. I'll put in the stats at the end. It's been a fair shift. Breakfast is on. What's on the menu? Posh baked beans. Posh baked beans. Oh. What's Conan got? Baked apple porridge, apparently. Sounds quite nice. And a fruit snack. And a fruit, and a fruit snack. snack, all the fruit snacks. <laughs> and just like that, we're back in Ljubljana. Time to get the bikes away. And we are at the airport. So the trip has been amazing, it's been phenomenal. I would highly recommend bikepacking. 
really enjoyed it. It was tough going at times. It was uh, particularly tough during these rainy days, but also in the, the like sweltering heat when you don't have access to shower for days as well. Uh, but Slovenia was an amazing country and I was really happy with the choice of bike. I couldn't decide whether to go for a gravel or the full suspension and the Vitis Rapide was the perfect bike for it. Eight days, didn't miss a beat, just had that bit of suspension to take the edge off on the te technical stuff. We had a good bit of that actually. and. Uh, combined with the Michelin Wells XC tyres, I had the grip and the rolling speed, so yeah, it was a really good setup, I was really happy with it. We ended up on 460 kilometres and 9,500 metres of elevation over the eight days. It's a big old week, but absolutely super. A lot of climbs, uh, a lot more climbs than I was expecting and a lot more intense climbs than I was expecting, especially with all that weight on the bike. So not an easy route, but plenty of places to fill up along the way, uh, which helped a lot. So we didn't need to carry too much food and drink with us each day. But that's it. So yeah, just left is what's next. I feel like I've got the bike packing bug now, and yeah, I need to find another adventure.